I wanted to yes, see sir. if you rock with it. Let me check this out. Hold on. Oh god. It's your boy my one here. We're at Lit Live. Oh, we got we got Grand Rapids in the house by way of Kansas City. Sleazy yes, world go. How What's you doing? Happening? I'm good. I'm good. Man, it's good to see you back outside. I mean, not not that you went anywhere. You just had a busy ass year. Yeah, that's that's a fact. You had a hell of a you know, you do if there's one thing Sleazy World Go does really well is you turn what what could be perceived as like a bad situation or like a negative moment in your life yeah. and you just bloom flowers out of that motherfucker no, that's a fact like left and right like you come in you spent uh you spent a few years down you come out it's the pandemic the worst time in human <laughs> history yeah. you turn that into sleazy flow yeah and then yeah man just in general man your whole life it seems like has been you just overcoming the odds and turning your pain into glory it's the story of the underdog. Yeah, yeah. And, and and man, you so you just did, did you feel nervous following up that year that you just had, or do you feel like excited more? Uh, I'm always excited. I never feel nervous. I feel like I come from nothing, so everything that I'm like going through right now is a blessing. So even just the moment when I first made it, you know, yeah, um, it's just the beginning for me. So. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. No, it really feels like like you're like uh, you had a great run, but it just it opened up the door for you to now take that next step. Yeah. Um. And so, like most people, I feel I always feel it's it's the hardest thing to do is follow up such a monumental moment as Sleazy Flow, like even just everything around it, like little baby posting about the record, yeah. little baby hopping on the record. Yeah. Uh, you following up the project and then and then it almost went viral like two three times over nah facts um you don't feel any kind of like nervousness or like pressure around like coming back out after that nah um like i said like it's, that was just the beginning for me um sleazy flow is just one of the songs that i can make um and it's a journey everything is a journey um, yeah so it's easy to like get caught up in a moment but if you look at the greatest artists in the world, it's like before they became the greatest, they went through so many moments where it was ups and it was down. So it's like this is just the beginning. I just started doing music a couple years ago. That's um, crazy, and I already bro. got so much success with it. Yeah. And I plan on having much more success with it. It's been what, three years, four years since three you years. started? Yeah. That is that you might have like year for year the best rap career ever. Like to, nah, from fact. from the moment you started <laughs> yeah. to be here now is yeah. fascinating. Yeah, fascinating. So we, I do got a big up. You got a big family. Yeah, if I'm correct, you got two. What is it? Two older brothers, older sister. No, nah, I got, I got more than that. Okay, you have a huge family, right? And you guys were just it, it, music was just all around the yeah. house. Yeah. Um. I feel like music kind of really started with my uh with my pops making you battle and stuff. Yeah. I I I read you used to have to battle your brothers. My, my brother, yeah. 8, is that 100. still happening? Uh nah. We we just I don't know our chemistry is super good. So it's like when we in a studio together, like we feed off each other energy, so. That's dope. I I wouldn't be able to do that. Like I got three siblings and if we spend more than maybe 24 hours together yeah it just gets we're at each other's necks and we're talking you know what i mean yeah. it, nah, it facts. that never happens with nah. you guys spending all that time nah. being in the same industry and everything uh-uh wow that's man that's like I my well i got i got multiple brothers but like the one that i rap with that's like my twin so it's like we we kind of like the same yeah you guys are like a year apart right two so, years so everything in life was just you two together yeah yeah Bro, I could learn from you too, man. I'm <laughs> telling you that it's actually I think a lot of the a lot of the great music we're getting now, like you have Billie Eilish and her mm -hmm. brother, uh, even Beyonce, like works so closely with her mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So it's cool because you can really like trust him. You know him so well, but yeah. I don't know how you do it, Sleazy. Me and my yeah. siblings, you guys never get in. It never gets heated in the studio. Nah, um, I Come feel on. like it's at a, least I feel once. like it's a con it's like it's like a um friendly competition it's like i know he gonna go hard so it's gonna make me go hard but we, we ain't never get into it we get into it for we both know we raw so that's true like, yeah. i just i just feel like the I, I thought for sure you were gonna be like yeah you know because like i remember i was talking to a little got it mm -hmm. rest in peace k 
Keed, but he was saying once I think him and Keed had to like box it out or something. Yeah. They just it, it got real tense, and they just were like, "Yo, let's just handle this, and we'll yeah. get back to the record." <laughs> so I I can't believe that. Ma, ma, Especially ma. coming from Grand Rapids, yeah, the home of Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, you you guys never duked it out once in the studio. No, nah, not in the studio. Growing up though, like oh, growing yeah, up, I, we did a lot. I can imagine. Speaking of growing up, I got to give you a gift. I got to give you a CD from my CD collection. Uh, I give everybody one, but I wanted to give you this. This is a CD I've been holding on to for a minute. I wanted to see if you rock with it. Let me check this out. Hold on. Oh, God. It's that Chief Key, Finally Rich. You fuck with that? Hell, yeah. Yeah, I I, I, I was reading a lot that you grew up off that. Gucci, that Chief. Yeah, hell yeah. I was between this and the Gucci album that had so icy. Nah, this it. This it. This it. Hell I yeah, like hell yeah, man. You, uh, you. One artist you've bigged up a lot over the past year or two <laughs> is Rod Wave. <laughs> Have you tapped in with Rod Wave yet? Not yet. Not yet. Still. Uh uh-uh. uh Oh, that's. Crazy. I be. I be. I don't know. I feel like. I don't really be outside like that. Um, unless it makes sense to me. So I'm starting to like get out of my comfort zone a little bit more okay. to be out more. And I feel like he he be on the same. If he if it ain't about him doing his business, he don't really be outside. So it's like I didn't been on a couple t- uh I didn't been on a couple shows with him before, like headline some shows with him and stuff before, but I never like ran into him in person yet. Not yet, not yeah. yet. I feel like when it does happen, you, it, it's going to be monumental because you've been. It's been at least like a year or two that I've seen. Yeah. Anytime somebody's asked you who you fuck with, yeah. you big up Rod Wave right away. No, that's a fact. Has he reached out his camp or anything? Mm-mm, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't spoke to him yet, but it's gonna happen. Yeah, and when I, I, I bet you he's seen it. Like, there's no way he hasn't. So yeah. when that does happen, that's gonna be a dope, dope no, moment. Um, so. We're we're here now. I I kept wanting to say WTW, but I also want to say like what they want. Yeah, it's How what they want. I say what they want. Yeah, so say WTW for sure. You said you were telling me before we jumped on camera that what they want, they already know the words at the shows and everything. Yeah, facts. Um, shows I've been performing at, they've been already knowing it. Um, it's been like five, six days. Yeah, so it's been crazy. It's 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 like me saying that just know like yeah. They really rock with me, and yeah. it's a lot of my fans coming on this tour to see me. So yeah. that's a beautiful thing, man. Well, you, it, it's really, it's really tough to, especially after you come up off such a viral moment, to really like connect with fans in mm-hmm. the flesh. Yeah. But you've done a real good job of like turning that moment and those moments yeah. into real life fans. Like you connect with your fans a lot. No, that's a fact. A lot of artists don't. Mm-hmm. Do you enjoy it, or do you do it strategically? I feel like that's like my favorite part about. Um, being in the industry, being in like just being a musician, um, it's a lot of people that look up to you, um, and they count on you. So yeah. it just be a good feeling, like seeing them and being able to make them smile and make Absolutely. them happy. Absolutely. Yeah. Do Do you anticipate one day you might get tired of it? Nah, I don't play it by my fans. That's one thing I won't ever get tired of. I love that they made me who I am today. Like they the reason why I'm here. Yeah, you know, yeah. Without them, I wouldn't be here. So absolutely. Hey, we're gonna know. circle back on this in five years, yeah. and we're gonna see if you still fuck with your fans like Same that. <laughs> I, I feel like everybody with success at some point, you get kind of like, man. I mean, I go outside it's again. really the people that's like, it's it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to like tell who your fans and who who your enemies. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can like once you see it, you know like these is real fans like. All my fans as real fans, they show me nothing but respect and love. So it's like, how could you get tired of that? Um, they just want to see you in. They want to see the best for you. So yeah. That's true. Are you able to identify real fast who's like a real or who genuinely wants to see you in and who yeah. doesn't? Not for sure. Even I'm sure just outside of fans in, in the aspect of like people in your team or people in your whatever, you know, you, your work situations. Is that something you would try to identify yeah. right away? Not for sure. Yeah, it's a good thing to know, man, because a lot of times you think people are like, oh, they're trying to help yeah. you, help you, help you, but they're really trying to get something. Yeah. Um, so one of the cool, cooler things about you is you consistently rep both cities that you're from, yeah. Grand Rapids, Michigan, yeah. and Kansas City. Yeah. Um, and I already know the answer to this, but I got to ask why. You're a huge Chiefs fan, Yeah. but you don't fuck with the Lions? I mean, the Lions Pistons? is Detroit. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, it is not, you know, I always assumed 
all of Michigan fucked with Detroit sports. Is that not the case? I don't know. I know I fucked with the Chiefs. Yeah, <laughs> hey, know. you picked a good time. Wait, hold on. Were you a Chiefs fan before Mahomes? Yeah, I've been a Chiefs fan. Okay. Like, I ain't gonna lie, being in Kansas City, Missouri, it's like just the um the culture around just the football team is crazy. Like when it's a football game, the whole city just turn red. Um Yeah, that's all they got as yeah, far as like major yeah. sports, right? I think. I can't uh, we got the Royals, too. The Royals, okay, okay. Yeah. My bad to the Royals. <laughs> but what a time to be a fucking Chiefs fan. Yeah. You, I wasn't going to say you lucky motherfucker. Like, I have <laughs> never rooted for a team that's been so great. Great I mean, time to be a Chiefs fan. Even the Chiefs, like, I feel like they remind me of myself. It's like they was underdogs, and they came. Interesting, yeah. That's true. None of us knew who Patrick Mahomes yeah. was at all. Mm -hmm. So do you get inspired as like, because I know you're like a real deal Chiefs fan. Does it inspire you when you see them have all that success on the yeah, field? Yeah, it reminds me of myself. That's beautiful. You know? That's beautiful. If you run into Tyreek Hill tomorrow, is it, you know, are you still excited to see him? Or is it like, all right, Tyreek. <laughs> all right, Tyreek, I see you over there. I mean, it's going to be like, what's up? What's happening? <laughs> yeah. So you still be yeah. excited, right, yeah. to see him? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, damn, what a time to be a motherfucking Chiefs fan. I'm a Packers fan. I'm excited, but yeah. can't be as excited as you. Yeah. Um. So with the music, man, the, it's been about a week. You said you're getting great reception on this single. Like, everyone mm -hmm. loves it. People are singing it at your live shows. Mm -hmm. Are you planning on letting this one marinate? Or are you planning on coming back to back? or what's Back to back. Oh, I'm yeah. Coming back to back. You, you know, been, I'm finna drop my album soon, so. How soon are we talking? Next month. Okay. Yeah. So you got it all planned out already. Yeah. All right, is it all, like, ready, like, videos done, content ready? Uh, we still kind of finishing up, like, the light, like the final touches of it, but it's really ready. Okay. Yeah. And we, you have a very distinct sound. Like, it's almost like, I like, as a fan of it, like, I know what you like. It's like that dark sound, yeah. right? Um, But with, with the new track, it was different. Yeah. You, it, are, are you going to experiment more or are you going to go back into what you were doing on yeah, the first it's gonna be, project? It's just going to be showing how like how talented I am um, with just music in general. Um, it's going to be a lot of different sounds on there. Um, it's going to be sounds of when I first started, kind of like bringing that more, like just uh, like just the upgrade version of it. Um, just really telling my story. So, yeah, painting uh, the picture. You got, I'm sure you got a story to tell bro just yeah. from from the being able to speak on two different areas having such a big family yeah. and you're are, are you in the middle of the family or more towards like the bottom when it comes to age i mean i always was the uh i was the baby for the longest but then i end up uh my mom ended up having two uh two more kids so and then that, like, my whole life i've been like the the, the baby child so how does that how how does that play on you now now that you've had all this success right Has, does it kind of is like Thanksgiving a little bit different now like you're not the <laughs> baby anymore uh I I don't really I feel like I'm to my mom I'm always gonna be the baby so yeah yeah but what about with your siblings because you got a lot of older siblings they don't like it they know they think my mama <laughs> uh, show favoritism to me you know what though we all think that I'm the youngest <laughs> in my family and I, I'll. I would 100% say my mom shows favoritism. I think we all. But I wonder, I was wondering, because me being the youngest, like, you know, you know how it is when yeah, we're the youngest in the family. Yeah. Older siblings never listen to us. Yeah. Whatever we say, they're like, nah, you don't know. I've been there, and I, yeah. I did that before you. So I was wondering, like, it, you're saying it hasn't really changed, that dynamic with your siblings? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very smart and very wise, and my siblings know that. So it don't really matter about the age, you know? Yeah. So they listen to me. Oh wow, good for you, man! I, yeah. man, I don't know how you have it together. If I was in the studio with my brother A, we would be squaring up by yeah. like hour twelve. <laughs> B, uh, my older siblings, my siblings don't listen to me for shit. Yeah. So man, you definitely you've it it, it feels like you've always had like a lot of leadership in you because you were point guard, right? Yeah. If I'm yep. correct, you were a point guard. You were running back. Yeah. If I'm correct, so you've always played like a very important role in any situation mm -hmm. that you were in, and so now with the music, um, are you still like really, really focused on Sleazy World Go? Or are you trying to get you know like your brothers on or other people around you? Not nah, for sure. Um, my brother eighty one hundo. Um, before he got locked up, he was doing his thing with the music. Yeah, he was. Um, yeah, I got a label. Uh, with my cousin, 
um, switches the label where we got artists that's doing their thing and stuff like that. And that's that your too. blood cousin? Yeah, yeah. How do you work so well with family? <laughs> what the fuck, man? I mean, that's all I really had uh, is okay. my family, so I ain't really yeah. had too many friends. Damn, I respect that. Especially you moved. I don't know what age you were, but at some point you moved. So when you moved from one major city to yeah. another, that's yeah. all you have. Yeah. Wow. So you you guys are gonna be like the Knowles of the rap game, you know, like the Beyonce Knowles and them, yeah. like the way you guys are so tight. No, nah, facts. Um. So a oh, lot. Wow. So so you're already thinking about like the I call it now the Yo Gotti era of your mm. career, where you I know you're still gonna be dropping hits and. and crafted albums but you're already trying to get kind of like the bigger picture together yeah, label and yeah. team and everything yeah what's the most important to you going that route is it like finding some dope producers to build around or finding some dope artists um i already got my own producers um they the ones that produce my hit songs um they signed to me um artists producers um really a whole team yeah for real for, like absolutely. even with um my engineer, the studio we got, we just building like a whole team with it, you know. Yeah, From and engineers, that, producers, artists, um, writers, like all that. We got all of that. That's beautiful because the sound will always feel right. You know what I mean? Because it's not like you have to reach out and try to like take yeah. the vibe from somebody else or like yeah. outsource anything. Yeah. Um, it's definitely, definitely to me the the best music comes when artists have that relationship with their producers mm -hmm. like the best snoop albums are either almost all dre or almost all pharrell and you know what i mean the Not best like you know the best future future does great with it like almost every project is either like all metro all south side yeah all somebody yeah, that's um, a fact. and with you too you seem to really like cherish or like you know hold hold that tight like your producers yeah. why do you value them so much um they kind of helped me create my sound. Um, they the part like they they play a big part of like my sound and create my sound. Um, they know me. They know what I want to hear. They know how I make yeah. my music. So it's like that's why artists is lock in because it's like they know you. You know, absolutely. They know how to make a beat for you where it's like you can put your best work on there. You know. Yeah, so, the, the, yeah. The, the the you don't have to get through the first two three sessions. Yeah. You know what I mean, and get to know each other. So do do the beats from the production team? Do they all have to go? through you first is it like we're gonna show Salizi for are, are they not even producing for anybody else no they produce for other people too um they just send me what they send me what they know is for me um I don't really be tripping off if they send it to other people or not um because yeah. you know it's happened in the past with like uh Jay-Z is like the classic example of like times where somebody had a beat and then Jay heard it and was like nope that shit's mine now. I do that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I did that a couple of times. To your own artists? Yeah. Where they kind of like, how? because even that plays into you being a leader. Yeah. Uh, how do you play those situations out? Is it like, yo, I'm sorry, dog? I mean, they, they, they don't, it's really just like, um, they don't be really tripping. I feel like if I want that beat, I'm going to grab it. Um, <laughs> they don't be really tripping about it. They gonna probably still hop on it anyways. Yeah, true, true. You know, so, if so. anything is better, if it is, you know, if it's if mm -hmm. f for them, I'm sure if it's on your album and yeah. they're on it. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, so I was wondering because I always, I always wonder what that dynamic is like. Because mm -hmm. can you imagine like you you work your ass off on the beat and then little baby hears it and it's like dog, I did my own shit on that. Yeah, you know. I mean, see, like when my artists, they can still drop theirs. Like I'm not gonna tell them that y'all can't drop y'all version. You know. Oh, really? Yeah, they can still drop their version. Damn. I, I'd imagine, I don't know why I imagine, I think because when I read Grand Rapids in your, you know, in your story, yeah. I was like, he's going to be a very, like, I thought Mayweather. So when I think this story, I think you would sock somebody out. Like, you going to drop my same beat? <laughs> I don't know why, man. Everything I read, it was like you used to battle rap with your brothers. You got yeah. a bunch of brothers. Yeah. You came from the same city as Mayweather. Yeah. You know, but nah, it really seems like you 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 got all your leadership things yeah. in order. Yeah. Uh, how much how much would you credit like just having a mentor, just a homie like Tech Nine? Does that help at all when um, it comes to all this music stuff? Since I made it, uh, me and him built a relationship. Um, he definitely um know a lot. Um, I definitely hit him about things and he gave me like advice. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he, he, he was like, to me, one of the, the 
architects of like really connecting with your fans with this mm -hmm. whole digital age. Mm -hmm. I remember back in like 2010, he was one of the highest grossing artists. Yeah. But I ha I hadn't heard any of his music yet. Yeah. And I'm like, what well, the fuck is this dude? And then you nice. look it up. Uh, yeah, so I was, is. yeah, he really is. So yeah. I was wondering if, you know, it sounds like you do reach out to him yeah. here and there. And he, he very supportive of my career. Um, and like, if I ever need him, he, he there. He there for me. So. That's awesome, man. So yeah. if, if if you call tech, he's gonna answer like for on sure. the spot. For sure, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Have you guys been able to cook up yet? No, nah, we haven't been able to cook up none yet. Um, I feel like we both be just super busy, but yeah. I know it's gonna happen. Uh, that's something I've been thinking about lately really? too. Really? Yeah, because it's like two different sounds. It's yeah. so different. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? it, it like it's not like it could. I mean, it definitely would work together, yeah. but it's two different yeah. sounds. Different I feel like audiences. a good artist is he can get on the song with anybody. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Very true, man. So 2024 is here. Uh, Sleazy World Go. It's not like I said. It's not like you're back outside. You've been dropping. You have not yeah. taken time off. Um, but it's album mode. Yeah. So what are you most excited about this year? Is there one specific thing? Um, I'm excited. I'm most excited about dropping my project. I feel like it's so fire. I feel like it's going to take the world by storm when it when it um drop so do you got a specific song in mind that you're like ooh, and this one it's a lot of them yeah yeah i feel like just the whole project the whole body of work um it's gonna be something that the world talk about so okay. yeah. i'm very excited for that is it more of like a cohesive project you had like you went into it with a vision mm -hmm. like this is what it's gonna be because yeah. it's from what it from what you're saying it sounds like you're gonna go more of like a story cinematic route yeah with this one yeah it's gonna be it's just like um it's a great body of work um the production the stories um just the messages from the songs like all of that put together um and it's gonna be a lot of timeless music on there and i feel like that's what we've been missing so mm, yeah. like in general like hip-hop or just in yeah. general we've been missing really hip-hop yeah. Yeah. I think hip hop hip hop had a weird twenty twenty three. It wasn't like we had a bad year, it just mm -hmm. was like a, a weird year. It took I think until the Doja Cats paint the town red for us to hit a number one. Yeah. But twenty twenty four started out hot. Yeah, facts. Like this year started out hot. We've already had Carnival number mm -hmm. one. I think that uh Metro future record it's gonna be number yeah i think it's number one too yeah that's gonna be and then you know whatever drake drops is gonna go number yeah. one um so it's definitely a good it's gonna be a good year for hip-hop and mm -hmm. seems like you're poised you're ready to be yeah. you know what i mean in that conversation nah, that's a fact Hell yeah, man. Sleazy World Go, man. All the way from Grand Rapids to Kansas City to here in L.A., man. You you definitely, like, you have a good model for how to make it in today's world mm -hmm. as an artist. And I feel like one reason why you're going to be around forever is since for everything I read, every time life gives you some some hardship you turn that shit into a, either a hit record yeah a hit album mm -hmm. or just into a good situation so yeah. i don't see you going anywhere no that's a fact man sleazy world go uh give me give me one besides rod wave if there's someone you can be in the studio with right now who would that be besides rod wave yeah probably young boy oh, okay okay those are the two we're gonna manifest it i'm gonna cut yeah. back to this clip <laughs> When the Sleazy World Go and Rod Wave track, I'm a I'm a manifest. You're gonna be on one of Rod's albums, yeah. And the Young Boy will be on one of your albums, yeah. So we're gonna manifest that this this time next year, quarter one going into quarter two. He said it here first. I think I think he's gonna have that, and uh, I I can definitely see see that you got everything kind of you know lined up in order. So I'm I, yeah. I'm excited to hear this timeless music Not for sure. so far off the project uh is is what they want the only one that that you drop that's going to be on the yeah, project yep none of the other singles that that you dropped between uh -uh. last it's, year and now uh -uh. it's the only one so okay far. Yep. so I, i'm excited we're about to get a lot yeah. of new songs new music a lot of new music a lot of new vibes um yeah
Hell yeah. Well, here at here at Lit Live, we used to be Dash Radio for the longest time. We just switched our name, but we really, really l- like to get in on artists. I always say before it's too late because mm-hmm. I feel like a year from now, you're not going to be answering none of our calls. Nah. So we're excited to chop it up with you now. Yeah. We had Billie Eilish's first radio interview ever. We had one of Cardi B's, Post Malone's. I remember talking to Sexy Red mm-hmm. uh, before she dropped Ski Yee. Mm-hmm. So it, with you, I'm... I was honored to get you at this stage in your career because you've already had multiple moments. But Mm -hmm. uh, if people are not invested, get in now. It's like the Bitcoin price is low on this motherfucker. (laughs) Get in now now. because Sleazy World Go is not going anywhere. Going up. Did you already drop the album name too? Have you uh, already nah, I given that the album to the streets? Yet. Okay. No, I ain't gave it out yet. Okay, it's coming soon though? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, man. Sleazy World Go. What they want is out now. Go check that out. Yes, sir. Uh, definitely is a dope way to pay homage to to like the era yeah, of hip hop. Yeah. yeah, that we grew up off. Mm-hmm. Uh will be fires if you did it's gonna sound funny. The remix, wait for it, with Cisco. Nah, that's a, that'd be fire. Bring sure. Cisco back. Yeah. Bro, Cisco will probably do it. Yeah. You might be able to get all of Drew Hill on that motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? What, what's Drew Hill doing right now? I don't know. That'd be fire, though. That I might be fire. About that. that might be fire, man. Get Cisco to do mm-hmm. the hook. Because I know the uh, obvious answer would be to, like, mix it with DMX. Yeah. I'm like, nah. I remember when I heard it, too. I'm like, Cisco can come and layer yeah, this a little can come bit. Hop on the- Hey, Cisco could probably drop some bars right now. Yeah. Like at this point in his career, I think after Thong Song, we were all laughing at him. Yeah. Cisco get some respect. You know what <laughs> I mean? I put I put respect on his name. No, that's so a fact. that's the last thing I'm gonna manifest. The what they want remix with, with Cisco. Cisco yeah. yeah. <laughs> My guy. If you guys would have known what he told me before this too, if if what happens tomorrow happens does happen tomorrow, yeah. I'm calling you for the lottery numbers. I bet. That's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna happen. It, <laughs> man, sleazy world go. Thank you so much, you know. man. Here at Lit Live, bro, we've been supporting. We've had your music in rotation. I'm doing yes, the hip hop. Every time I go through, I'm like, yep, this bitch is still in rotation. Yeah, I so we're that. super excited for the new music. And uh, I think, you know, a year from now, whenever we get a chance to do this again, I'm excited yeah. to see what, what you've accomplished and then what you got planned. Nah, for sure. All right. Anybody want to shout out before we jump off? Shout out my fans, man. I love all y'all. Let's go. For now. Give it two years, I'm telling you. <laughs> two years, Sleazy World's going to be over all you motherfuckers. No, Leave not. him alone. No, nah. I'm not. Sleazy World go. Lit live. It's your boy, My Wand, and we're out. Boom. <laughs>